a leading criminal expert. Liangatha poisonous mushroom case explained the key question that should be asked to break. On July 29, 48-year-old Erin Patterson made a bench Wellington pie with suspicious death hats at his home in Victoria's Gippsland. Gail and Don. 70 and 66-year-old Heather days after lunch. 68-year-old Ian was taken to hospital for about two months. A leading criminal expert explained the key question to be asked to break the Liangatha case. Detectives investigating deaths made a breakthrough this week when the forensic tests confirmed that three of them after taking toxic mushrooms famous anthropologist and criminologist Xanthi Mallet said that the investigation would now be zero to a food dryer allegedly thrown by Patterson. Dr. Mallet told Sunrise on Thursday. This is probably most important point of the whole case. Aaron Patterson said that he had thrown this fiction on end shortly after eating. Famous anthropologist and criminologist Xanthi Mallet said that the investigation will now be zero to a food dryer. The question is that there are sports on the dryer. This is a very important piece of information that can confirm or reject death cap mushrooms on that dryer. The day after serving deadly lunch was found by the detectives at Garbage End. Early theories claimed that kitchen device was used to protect mushrooms of death hat. But Ms. Patterson claimed that store purchased dried pre-packaged fungi. Ms. Mallet believes that it will take some time for detectives to reach a conclusion due to the complexity of investigation. We'll have to wait until the police finished the investigation. And it's a very complex situation. But it may be a few months. He said. John Sylvester, a senior criminal journalist of age on Wednesday morning, announced the development of great judicial test. Good news that detailed judicial tests have returned and confirmed that the cause of three deaths is really fungal poisoning. Sil Sylvester wrote, Bad news is that how mushrooms appear on the lunch desk continues to be a matter of assumption. Ms. Patterson was defined as suspicious by researchers, but was not accused of any crime.